there is some kind of siren. I don't know what it is, but hello vlog. It's, what is it, Monday night? Monday night. Um, I just uploaded part one of the vlog, part two, part one of the vlog. And right now I'm going to get some ice cream. Um, my aunt and uncle and I just had dinner. We had some chicken and potatoes and vegetables. It was literally so good. I, I do not know what that siren is. There's like some fair downtown. That's probably what that's coming from. But anyways, I'm going to get some ice cream. Um, this is gonna be part two of the vlog. It's gonna be this whole week because obviously today is Monday and I don't actually leave until Sunday. Sunday is the day that I am driving back to Knoxville. So I'll be here on Saturday, all the fun stuff. I didn't go to the beach today. I just wasn't really feeling it. I was really into watching the Vampire Diaries and doing some work on my iPad that I needed to get done. So once I got into it, I was just like in work mode, but that's what I did today. I'm gonna go and get some ice cream right now because you can never go wrong with ice cream in my opinion. Um, we just got done FaceTiming my grandma and grandpa, which was so nice being able to see them before him and like my dad and a bunch of other people go up to a big camping trip they're doing before they come down to Knoxville to see me. Super awesome, totally cool. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to start off the vlog since it is Monday night. I didn't really do anything today, but I wanted to vlog a little bit. So stay tuned for more stuff this week. I swear it will be a little bit more interesting, I think. Anyways, welcome to part two of the vlog. <laughs>
I just got back from the beach. Today is, what, Wednesday, August 2nd. Um, I just got back from the beach. I did a little bit of journaling and just sat by the water, dipped my toes in the in water, whatever. Um, I woke up and watched the sunrise, which was so pretty. And the tide was really high because last night was a super moon. And so they had what was called like a king's tide or whatever that means. Obviously, I'm guessing it's just a really high tide. Um, and the waves were super rough this morning and stuff. So I didn't get in the water, but I just walked along it and did some journaling and stuff and watched the sunrise, which was literally gorgeous. And then I got some coffee. I went back to Crush and Grind. If you're ever in Carolina Beach, definitely go there um because it's so good and I love their lattes um now I'm probably just gonna make some breakfast and do a little bit of work on my computer and I think that's really about it I don't know what I'm gonna do today I'll probably go back to the beach and relax a little bit um but if the waves are still rough then maybe I'll just go for a walk later or you know go down to Curie Beach there's a whole bunch more um, different areas on the island so I'll probably check those out maybe today take my truck out probably clean my truck and vacuum it out and things like that but basically a free day to do whatever I want so I'm gonna make some breakfast and yeah Everybody. Today is Thursday morning. I just got back from my little hot girl walk. Um, the fan is probably really loud. I'm sorry, but just got back from that. I walked four and a half miles and honestly, I felt really good. Um, I mean, just did a slow walk. I listened to one of Ali Abdal's new podcast episodes. I think it's can't remember who it was with I think it was his business coach um about you know starting a business in 2023 and it was honestly such a good podcast um and it was just really interesting to listen to I've been I've been in a music and tv mode lately that's usually how I get on vacation um but I wanted to just listen to a podcast today and really I don't know get back into doing that because I don't know, I feel like I got out of it a little bit and so I want to stay in the habit of, oh my god, this is so shaky. Why don't I just set you guys down? There we go. Um, I just wanted to like stay in the habit of listening to podcasts and keeping up with all of my favorite shows and their episodes and things like that. So that's what I did um, and I walked down to the coffee shop and I got another latte today. Yesterday, you should be proud of me, I changed up my order and they had what was called a flow latte and it was just chai, brown sugar and espresso and milk obviously. Um, and it was, it was good. It wasn't my favorite. I don't know if it was, I don't know what it was. Maybe the brown sugar that threw me off or maybe their chai is a little bit different than chai that I've had, but it was a little bit, it was good. 
it was definitely good. I would give it like a 6 or 7 out of 10, maybe a 7 out of 10, because it was definitely good and I would drink it again, but it's not my first choice. I'd rather get like a latte or maybe just a dirty chai without the brown sugar. I think that's what throws me off anytime I get kind of a different drink like that is usually anything with brown sugar. But I get the brown sugar oat milk shake and espressos from Starbucks all the time, which funny story. I'm literally like full of energy right now. Um, so just bear with me on my little tangents, but I literally have been going to Honeybee Coffee basically every day for the past, I don't know, a few weeks. I go like every other day. Sometimes I don't go every day, but sometimes I go every day and their coffee is phenomenal. And I took a break from Starbucks for probably like three weeks, maybe more. Um, and I had Starbucks the other day and I was like, this is truly dirt water <laughs> compared to anything that Honeybee had or the other like little local coffee shops. And I was like, there's no way that there's that much of a difference. Like you can't, it's milk and coffee. Like you can't, you can only go so far wrong. So wrong on so many different levels of wrong that I was thinking. Um, it makes such a difference. And I truly was drinking like dirt water. <laughs> it was, it was so funny that I like had that realization. I'm sure other people are, you know, woke to that kind of thing, but I had my little moment and became aware that Starbucks coffee is like not that good. But anyways, that's another tangent. Today, I think, honestly, I'm probably gonna try to like clean out my truck and do a little vacuuming and cleaning of that because it is so disgusting. I hate whenever my truck or my vehicle or whatever I'm in is dirty and it's been dirty for so freaking long because I don't have a shop vac. Like I don't, I don't know. I should just go to a car wash, but I didn't, we didn't have car washes like that unless you went to Des Moines and I wasn't going to go to Des Moines just to wash my truck and I always had stuff in it and I don't know. So like I'm not used to going to a car wash and using the shop vac to like vacuum out my truck. I'm used to detailing the shit out of it in my driveway, like full shop vac, take out the the floor mats, hose them down, scrub them down, wash them off, let them dry, like fully deep cleaning, doing all the detailing kind of stuff I would just, you know, do in my driveway. So I didn't really ever think about that. I should have, and that's just my own fault, but I'd much prefer to just do it at home and do it the way that I want it with like a hose and, and drying out. I don't know. Anyways, anyways, I think I'm going to clean out my truck today just because I wanted to do it for a while and I might as well while I'm, I don't know, somewhere that I can. So I'll probably do that today. And I also am going to either record my podcast episode today or tomorrow. I'll probably plan it today and record it tomorrow. Um, and then definitely soaking up the last couple days of the beach. Um, we went yesterday afternoon and that was so nice just to go in the afternoon and it wasn't too crowded and things like that. I know it's going to be busier like Friday and Saturday, but I'll probably still go maybe in the mornings and do my little hot girl walk in the afternoon kind of thing. But um, I'm definitely getting tan -er than I was, which is so nice. Um, and I, I don't know if you can notice, but I always, always get like five or six random pimples on my face whenever I go to the beach and it's just because these are the areas where I sweat a lot. I just like build up a lot of sweat especially along my lip line and in these creases right here um, and I always have them right here like whatever and it also might be hormonal acne because I've been like tracking my cycle and doing a lot of kind of research about that I'm definitely doing a podcast episode it's coming this month I have it planned in my little content calendar that I made but um it's probably hormonal acne because I'm on my period right now which sucks but it is what it is at least I'm getting it um <laughs> and so there's that but I always get these little breakouts from like the sunscreen and just my sweat building up into these areas and things like that but 
I think it's just funny noticing that. But usually my skin will clear up and it does feel very soft. It's very like smooth and hydrated and I don't have a bunch of little sweat bumps like I normally do. It's very, um, I don't know, just like smooth and clean besides those few little spots right there. Um, but that's why I love the summer and love the sunshine because my skin just feels amazing and like I'll put lotion on and it's super hydrated and I feel really good and so I never wear makeup. I don't need to. I don't feel the need to. I mean, I literally never do anyways. The most I've ever worn was maybe some concealer for like prom and that was it. Um, but I don't even wear mascara. I just... I just go for it and um, yeah, but I've been just like so happy with the way that my skin looks recently, which is really great because I wanted to be tan and feel really good for recruitment, um, especially if I'm gonna keep up with the gym and kind of do that stuff as well. It's gonna be such a chaotic time that I wanted to really relax this first, this week that I was off and just take care of myself, go on nice and relaxing walks and, you know, focus on me so that at during that time I can give this kind of energy and whatever to people that really need it. Um, and obviously the P&M's coming in and doing all that kind of stuff. So anyways, just like a little update. Um, I've been trying to get more clips of me doing things. I like recorded me making breakfast. I'll probably do that today too because I love doing that. My aunt and uncle are at their little like workout class right now so I can feel better about filming and you know not get all weird about it like I still do um but I'll probably film me making breakfast but I'm literally gonna chug like a gallon of water right now. My first tell I'm I'm just ranting. This is a little vlog okay get over it. Um, but I'm just, my first tell of like dehydration is my rings. And you can see I have like some tan lines from them. But anytime my rings are harder to get on and off because my fingers are swollen, that's how I can tell that I am dehydrated. It's my first sign always. And if not that, it's my calves cramping. Oh my God. It's so horrible. Like I'll walk around and I'm just like on the brink of a calf cramp. And it's the most, it's horrible. So I can feel that I'm like a little dehydrated. My rings are just, it's like hard to get them off. Normally they just slide on and off. So I need to, I need to drink some water. This is your reminder. If you're watching this and you're sitting somewhere or doing something or in the car, hopefully not driving, please don't drive and watch this. Please don't do that. Um, literally drink some water, drink some water, drink a bottle of water, drink a glass of water, go drink from the hose. I did that as a kid. It's probably why I'm not sick or whatever, anytime. Um, but you know, go drink some water. I'm going to go drink some water and make my to-do list and get some shit done. But yeah, I just wanted to catch you guys up after my little hot girl walk. Maybe you should go have hot girl walk. It was very refreshing. I listened to a podcast. I literally told you that already. I'll probably stop talking now. I think I'm going to repeat myself now that I'm kind of done with everything. So enough rambling. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. haven't vlogged in so long it is saturday morning and i'm about to go to the beach um yeah <laughs> i basically did nothing yesterday like nothing um i watched vampire diaries and journaled and did all that and that was it <laughs> that was literally it um my period kind of like wiped me out and I still like have a headache today and I'm kind of like low energy and all that. But I'm going to go to the beach because it's literally my last day. I leave at like 5 tomorrow morning, unfortunately, because I need to go and meal prep for the week because they're not feeding us during spirit week. And so I need to go and meal prep 
spend money that I don't have, unfortunately. But whatever, I recorded my podcast episode and it should be up by now, especially by the time you're watching this, but that's what I did this morning and ate breakfast. And now I'm gonna go to the beach. But I haven't really been doing much the past couple days and I've vlogged a little bit, which some clips you would probably see. But I went to the beach on Thursday. Yesterday it rained all day, so I didn't go to the beach. But I went to the beach on Thursday and that was really fun. Um, and just did a little solo trip and swam in the water. Probably swim again today. Um, my hair is like super curly right now because of the humidity and stuff. And like my little baby hairs are <laughs> super curly. Um, but I'll probably swim and then wash my hair and do the whole drying and everything routine. So I'll probably do that. Um, today and then I got to do laundry and repack. I vacuumed out my truck yesterday which I didn't get a clip of but I just vacuumed it out and um, I need to order a new jack because um, my kit does not have the um, slug wrench. No that's not the word. Yeah lug wrench. Slug wrench. <laughs> It doesn't have a lug wrench, so I need one that does. Otherwise, I don't know what to call AAA. I don't know. Um, so yeah, need to do that. Um, I'll probably just get one on like Amazon or something, but did that yesterday. I don't know, I haven't done much, but I don't think this is the last time I vlog. Probably last time I vlog will be tonight, but you, I never know with me. I say that and then it is the last time I vlog. So if it is the last time I vlog, thank you guys for watching. And I'm really sad the beach trip is over, but I had a lot of fun and I hope you guys liked the vlogs and my little adventures in paradise. Um, if it's not the end of the vlog, then I'll see you again. But if it is the end of the vlog, Thank y'all for watching and I love you and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>